Extension of the curfew does not mean you must be irresponsible, says Guyana's Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony. Anthony was speaking with reporters at the Ministry of Health this morning. Government recently announced a 10.30 p.m. to 4 a.m. curfew, which has attracted much criticism, despite the rise in COVID-19 cases and deaths. Sometimes we, we look at these things in a very emotional way, right? Extending the curfew, whether we extend it by one hour or two hour or whatever we extend it by, it does not mean that you have to stay on the road, right? So if, if you don't have any business to be on the road, go home. So extension of the curfew does not mean that you must be irresponsible and be, you know, wherever you want. It, it just means that business activity, other activities are allowed up to 10.30, right? So I think people need to understand that. Anthony said we have to get a balance between the public safety measures and the economic measures. Some countries who have uh, locked down everything and curtailed economic activity, they now have a different problem where you got huge unemployment, you got people not getting resources, and that is providing another set of challenges for those countries. We are now trying to balance two things, the economics with um, the safety measures. And again, if people are responsible, I think we can do both. But we need the collaboration, cooperation of everybody for us to achieve this. And, and that's what we have to do as a country, because COVID is not going away tomorrow. COVID is going to be with us uh, for sometime next year and maybe who knows and therefore we have to start adopting on how we're going to manage through this period and my belief is unless we have a vaccine that is very effective then we are not going to exit COVID right so until then we got to learn to have this balance and live with this disease and be able to take all the safety measures to protect ourselves so we all have to take on that responsibility. As of Tuesday, November 3rd, Guyana's confirmed cases were 4,245 with 130 deaths.